What's up YouTube, OrangeSpark16 here, and today I have for you a Minecraft tutorial. As you can see we're on uh, the furniture world for some reason, I decided to make it. Also my redstone tutorial um, map, I guess. Um, so what I have for you today is a uh, pretty cool mechanism that I whipped up one day. Um, because if any of you have been keeping up, I'm trying to uh, run my own server for Pixelmon. And for that, there are going to be times when to get to a certain place, you need to have a certain item. And um, so I created a way that, you know, no one has to actually check to see if you have that item. In fact, uh, command blocks will do that for me. So I'm just going to show you what it does as of now. So as you can see, what it did um, was it cleared my inventory, teleported me to a certain place, and then gave me back that item. So um, in this case, it was the music disc cat. And uh, we only use three command blocks. So pretty much it scans for my item, then teleports me where I want to go, and gives me the item back. Um, you can do a lot more with this, but that's what I have for you today. So I'm actually going to show you how to make it. And um, I keep changing the way to make it because I totally forget how I make it sometimes. So if I have to check back, then uh, just don't uh, kill me for it. So first I'm just going to, you know, let's see, um, lay down some, uh, or break some grass, I guess, to make way for the thing. You don't actually have to do this. Um, in fact... Let me get some grass, because I have a bunch of stone over there, because I didn't replace with grass. And pretty much, you can hide this machine as well as you want. The only thing that's, like, really sticks out is this part. I don't know. Um, so, first off, you're going to want to um, dig some space out so that you can have your pressure pad that they uh, step on, and a piece of redstone. And then for the redstone to activate the first command block, it's going to have to go under um, that wall over there, pretty much. So I'll just make a, um, a wall to, you know, get a good idea where it is. And then the redstone would have to come up, oh, if this is even with it, um, sorry, we can actually make it come up here. Okay, and then you need a repeater to go through uh, that stone block, which would then hit that command block. So that's the first step there. And then uh, to give it the command, you have to do, if you want to do it the way I did it for scanning, you do clear at P, and um, if you have it, this if you've followed me so far, you can do range equals 6 because the person will be exactly six blocks away if they step on that um, pressure pad. And then um, you find the block ID you want. So for a cat, it'd be 2257. I don't know. Um, you could probably find a website with the IDs. I think that's how I got uh, the cat ID. So there you go. That um, will clear your inventory. You can test it out. Um, so right then, if you saw it, it uh, cleared cat times that's zero and uh, didn't do it there because I backed off as it um, activated it again and now uh, for it to keep doing its part we need to put a comparator there and this is it's also going to check and see if you have the item that's what the coolest part about this is is that um, it's going to act as like a sort of a scanner pretty much because uh, Jesus People won't be able to teleport and stuff if they don't have the item. And uh, they do that through pretty much like a system of um, checking. So you're going to want to, uh, if you followed me so far, I'm not doing a good job explaining how to do this as well as I'm hoping to. So pretty much what this um, contraption will do is uh, turn off the comparator because if we didn't have it, and you went ahead and stepped on here. The comparator's on, and uh, then it would activate 
those command blocks, you wouldn't be able to do it again. So this acts as sort of a resetter or a device that would reset, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to hook up the redstone like so. So we can uh, now go on here and I forgot to put that there. And now I'll show you this time. Boom. Clears the inventory and resets the comparator. Um, it doesn't actually, you know, necessarily reset it because if I break this, it's still on. So it acts as a resetter. It doesn't. Ex it's not ag exactly a resetter. Um, and since uh, the comparator only puts out a certain amount of strength, just put um, a redstone repeater there for good measure. And we can come out. You can place a stone. Because, uh, once again, apparently, the only way to power up a command block is through stone using a repeater. I think, uh, I'm actually thinking there's more ways than that. But so far, as I've experienced making my machine, that's as far as I can get. Um, and we'll just put that block there. Uh, and that's going to be the block that I have the destination to teleport to. I'm just trying to make this all pretty. And, in fact, you can now cover up pretty much this whole machine. Um, yeah, I don't know why I dug out as far as I did. You didn't actually have to dig out anything, really. So I'm pretty sure this should still work. That's as much as you just need to keep hidden right there. Um, and now for the commands on these. So you're going to want to have one do slash give at P. Now this isn't the most uh, perfect machine that you can do because um, it targets the nearest player so there will be some glitches, people not taking their turn in line and stuff. You can probably find a way to get around that. Um, I know I'm gonna have to and I think I have a way but you know it's just testing it out. Um, so give at P uh, we're not going to specify a range. Um, you can probably figure it out yourself, but depends where you teleport them. I'm getting a Steam chat. I don't know why. Um, so then we'll do give at P2257. We'll give them their disk back. I'm pretty sure that would be the command. And then uh, you want to find out the coordinates of the block that you want them to teleport to. In my case, it would be negative 950.5, I guess. So slash TP at P. I totally forgot the coordinate, negative uh, 950.5, space 4, and 303.5, I believe. Yep. So that, um, there are no commas in between the coordinates. You just do it exactly as shown. Um, and of course, your coordinates will be different. I don't know if it's going to show up in the recording, but there's like this really weird line that keeps coming into my screen. Whatever. Um, and then sh we'll check it out, and you see, it teleported me onto the block, gave me the disk, and uh, that's how you can check for an item, scan for an item. Now see, it wouldn't work if I don't have the... Well, i got to make sure I don't have it in this inventory either. Okay, I don't would not work if I didn't have the CD. So you need the CD and it'll just give it right back to you. Um, and that's, uh, I think that's the most simple machine I've seen yet. Like I've been surfing on YouTube. I wanted to know if there was a way to do that. And there really isn't. I mean, there's the test for command, but I don't, I don't know exactly how that works and neither do other people because they haven't made machines like this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was, a uh, Another redstone tutorial with uh, your host, Orange Spark 16. Um, so, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.